Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and you are watching the teardown process of the first Tatra for our monster truck build, episode 22. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons who help to support this channel. Uh, if you don't know what the Patreon is, you can go just down to link below and you can support us for as low as one dollar a month and you can also purchase this t-shirt. Today's episode will be a little bit different because a lot of people is asking me how exactly this truck will be put together and I couldn't really explain it because it was frame over here, the motor uh, transmission uh, I, you wouldn't see anything so we are going to explain it today and uh, when you look at it it's very dirty I have to uh, clean it first because some uh, bolt connections are completely covered so we will clean it up first and then I will explain you exactly how this truck will work let's go Okay, I'm going to I'm going to lay down on the couch. <laughs> Can you work a little bit a little bit left, like a one meter left, please? <laughs> hey, bye. <laughs> Tak dru dvoj dvoj to high five. Ukáže na kameru. Ukáže na kameru. Ty si vůbec nepracoval, máš se tak čistá. Jsem fajně už pí. High five. Bye bye. Bye bye. Možná ještě přijdu. Here's probably the best part. That is something like one foot of mass. That's one foot deep, this mass. Wow. <laughs> Probably about 20 kilos of this mess from this Tatra. This is the messiest job I have done on this vehicle and probably on any vehicle in my life. I'm done with the with the scraper. After four hours of non-stop work, now I will blow off this and clean up this stuff and prepare it for the washing. This 
Do you want a quality black soil for your garden? Action! Action! I need to prepare this vehicle to pull it out because we will wash it then. Uh, but these wheels are locked and I will probably not be able to unlock them. I already ruined this thread. So I will lift them up, tie them up and put the jack under them and then we'll pull it out. But first I have to put the front on the ground. Today is another day and we'll finish what we started yesterday. We have to tie up the steering, we don't want it steers when we pull it out. And another side. Let's bring the Land Rover. Okay, we'll lift it up here to get the wheels above the ground and then we'll pull it out. Okay, we somehow managed it with two jacks, that blue one, he couldn't, it couldn't lift it up. I had to help it with the bottle jack. So hopefully everything will work. Because if that, break, if that blue one breaks, there is no way to bring it back to the shop. We'll use the Carolan for engines.
unbelievable. Another day is over, <laughs> but the Tatra is almost spotless. You can have a dinner on the top of it now. So we have to push it back to the shop. I have to get into the car. Super, we got it in. Hey everybody, it's another day and today I will explain you exactly how this truck will be exactly put together. You asked me about it before, but I couldn't explain it because there was a lot of components on the top of it. So let's go. First, we are going to tell something about what we have in front of us. This is Tatra 815 6x6 and this is a model Agro which doesn't have the leaf springs over here on the rear axles, but it has always airbags for the suspension. Front is suspended by the torsion bars, so uh, basically the suspension is um, made by twisting of this bar. Unlike uh, any other truck, Tatra truck doesn't have the rails and cross members frame, it has the central tube. There are differentials inside, or all axis, and uh, big advantage of this that this uh, chassis doesn't twist in terrain. And how will look our truck? It will not be 6x6, six six, it will be just 4x4, four four. but this rear axle also will be steerable. This is original transfer case. Either we will be able to modify it or uh, we will have to make something similar with uh, the similar size and we'll put from each side one electromotor and imagine now <coughs> we are going to unbolt this flange make the gap over here and insert the transmission over here with one electric motor here and one electric motor here they are about like this diameter and we'll do the same for the rear axle again unbolt this flange over here make a gap and insert the transmission with one motor over here and one motor over here and because our transmission are not going to be connected with any shaft we can do with these tubes whatever we want and we will increase the clearance so this tube will be something like that. It will rise over here, will go this way and back to the second transmission. So we'll be able to reach the ground clearance approximately almost three feet. Okay, and now about suspension. These torsion bars are not going to be used. Instead, we are going to use these airbags so imagine we will take this air airbag one it's up to three ton but it can be there are others up to four tons and imagine we'll insert it into this area over here and uh, on the special brackets we are going to have to have to make and uh, these airbags will be self adjustable it means if I am sideways on the hill, the top one will deflate and the lower one will inflate more. So your vehicle will get more leveled. The airbags with all the brackets 
will be able to bolt on the half uh, half axle and uh, to this cross member without necessity to weld. Now, how I'm going to put the torque through the motors and the transmission to the axle. I can do it uh, through Tatra differential and at the end of the differential on shaft I put the gear and it will be the gear, first gear in this transmission, then I put second gear and third gear and the motor. In this case, the mo both motors will work together through one set of gears. But the problem is, because the differential has some uh, length and all together would be probably somewhere around, uh, around two feet, and I would like to make it shorter because it would, uh, uh, it would uh, limit me through the ground clearance at this point. Another option is that each uh, axle has two outputs. One is in form of the shaft and one wheel through shaft and second wheel is over the tube which is over the shaft. I can put the gear on each output and then run two sets of three gears. In that case, each motor will run only one wheel. Which option I will decide for? I don't know yet. I will let you know. The whole axle will be basically the whole unit. It will contain with uh, two airbags with the all brackets, the steering components and of course the transmission which will be sitting just over here. And uh, so I will have this complete unit, exactly the same one I will have on the back and between them I will have my central tube and I will make it uh, long as much as I want. As you can see, for my build, I need two front axles, two steerings, and two transfer cases. So for my build, I will need two Tatras. Of course, if I decided that I want to have a truck without steering at the back, I can do that only with one Tatra. The main intention of this build is to make it cheap. By the way, what you can see over here is already for free. Because I saw the engine, transmission and two good uh, tires and I already have my money back. I think that this vehicle will be absolutely unique. I'm combining the amazing off-road performance of the Tatra chassis with the modern technology of the electric motors. The Nissan Leaf motor, one of them, has 80 kilowatts and 280 newton meter and it's overbuilt from Nissan. Some people get from this motor up to 300 kilowatts. This vehicle will be really unique. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to get into the chassis. If you want more, you can join our Patreon community or you can order the t-shirt and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time and thanks for watching.